we got our feet about two tiles apart. Maybe a little more or less, depending upon if you're smaller or bigger than me. Shift from your left to your right. So that's the feet, like we just did a moment ago. It's really the ball of your foot, the foot to the waist, to the arms. Pick up a big, ah, try it again. Pick up a big beach ball, let your elbows and shoulders relax, and gently twist like a big spring from your waist up. Now we do the left side. Left leg bends. Left hip sinks. Pick up the ball, gently twist. This is all nice and smooth and comfortable here. Back to the right side. So the weight's on the right side. My foot, my knee, my hip all line up. This foot, I squish, I'm squishing a bug. And turn your hip to face the other one. Then we got the hands again. One protects your face by the side, the other goes by your hip. So this one is called Divide Heaven and Earth. One goes up, one goes down. Left side, feet, waist, hands. This is squishing and then pulling. Like you're pulling apart the ball like it's made out of rubber and then gently twist your torso. Next one. So if I started with my feet two tiles apart, now I go back to shoulder width. Turn the hip joint in, so the, both the toes, knees, and hips face in like a triangle. Scoop up, try and touch the walls. So there's tension on my wrists, my forearms, my shoulders. Let that dissipate as you drop your shoulders and elbows. Toes out, heels straight. So now I'm sitting on a horse, big horse. Feet are in the right spot, hips sink, grab the big tree. So if the last exercise was here, that's with the back arched. This one, the back is somewhat rounded. So arched, nice and upright, works on the lower back muscles. This one, the whole back gets rounded with my arms. So here's a circle, and then here's the other circle going from my spine as I sink into it. Okay, let's keep going. So that's where we're at there with horse stance. Next is shift to the right, step to the right, so your legs are crossed. Here's that big ball again, but now it's like the eye of a needle. So I take my bottom hand and that's the thread. Thread the needle, push the palm, relax your shoulders, even though you're holding your arm up, and gently twist like a big piece of rope. And then we relax, unwind, left side. Step to the left, feet are in the right spot. My toe, my knee, my hip all point together, sink the hips. Here's my needle, thread the needle, push the palm, relax the shoulders, twist your spine like a rope. So that's the next one. Then we got here, move over a little bit. My toes are on this line, shift, shift back. There's my cat stance. So my feet are in the right spot, pointed on an angle, 45 degrees. My hips sink. What's left? We gotta do the arms. Scoop up the beach ball, and then dip your spine. You can't go any further. You turn and look at your hand with your face facing your hand. Toes up, toes in. There's what we just did a little while ago, the triangle. Toes out, shift, shift back, feet, waist, Arms, hold the beach ball, dip your spine, look at your hand. Let's keep going. So that one's called crescent moon because you're, you're kind of like in the shape of a, a C, like a phase of the moon, right? Then we got here, feet, waist, nose and navel. Same idea like we're squishing a ball, same idea like we're dividing heaven and earth, but really it ends up over here like your palms are up, shoulders are down. That's all fine. We try to balance by lifting the leg. Then we set this foot down. Foot, waist, hands. Same thing on the other side, lift up. If that's all good and you feel solid and stable, try to lift your leg. Set it down, step it out, just like we did earlier. One, two. 
turn your toes. So again, I'm kind of on this line. Nose and navel, hold the ball, squish the ball. Divide heaven and earth, but this time now they're fists and the fists pull back. And then we put one above our head, we put the other by our navel. So that's the ride the tiger exercise. Then we pivot to the left, same thing, we squish the ball, we stretch it, that's divide heaven and earth. When the hands are going opposite directions, face the front. Feet catch up, shift back. So there's various ways of doing this. We're gonna do like strum the guitar. So most of the weight's on that back leg and we just let the toes barely touch. Toes up, toes in, toes out. Strum the guitar. So other hands just kind of like touching our elbow. So we're almost at the end here. Our feet now line up on a line going straight in front. Turn 45 degrees so your hips sink. This right here, the lower part's what we call bagua, B-A-G-U-A. It's the stance that we're talking about. Scoop up the ball, tuck your tailbone, dip your chin a little bit, twist your whole torso like a big spring. Your hips stay where they're at. Now I shift, turn, same thing on the other side. Feet shoulder width, sink from the hips. So I got the feet in the right spot, the hips. Finish with the arms and a gentle twist of the spine. So we're gonna do it again, but again, that would be the splash. Take a breath, reset, find your spot again, and then we go again. So this time we'll focus mostly on the breathing. We follow along as we've been doing. Inhale, exhale, left side. Inhale, exhale. Squish the bug, squish the ball. Look at your hand if you may. Same thing on the other side. Feet, waist, arms, inhale. Exhale. Toes in, knees in, hips in. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale. Toes out, heel straight, sink. Round your back as you exhale. Thread the needle, inhale. Twist like a rope as you exhale. Other side. Step across, feet, waist, arms as you thread the needle. Gently twist. Crescent moon, shift, shift, inhale. Dip as you exhale. Feet, waist, Arms as you exhale. Feet, waist, squish the ball. Lift the ball as you exhale. Extra credit, try to balance. Set the foot down. Shift, inhale. Exhale, extra credit, try to balance. Touch once, twice. Shift, feet in the right spot. <clears throat> waist sinks. Squish the ball, divide heaven and earth. Ride the tiger is what it turns into. Squish, stretch, twist to the front. Feet, waist, arms, like the water hitting the rocks, popping up in the air, and then we sink. Toes, hips, arms. Sink down, scoop up the ball, bring it away from your body, twist like a big spring, can't go any further, shift your weight, back leg to the front, scoop up the ball, inhale, big twist, exhale, we're going to do it one more time, I'm going through, so at this beginning thing, when we do this, we can also turn this hip so that it points kind of towards the other foot to make a little sloppy seven on this side. Inhale, exhale. Same thing on this side. Turn the right hip so they make that point coming together. Inhale, 
Everything loose, relaxed, exhale. So really what it is, every exercise, we're again kind of squishing the blood from our feet to our hips, to our spine, to the arms and fingers. Inhale. Exhale. Toes in, knees in. Inhale, arch. Exhale. Toes, heels, round as you exhale. So if you want to work on your balance a little bit more, this lifts up. And then you set it down. Inhale. Exhale. Lift up if you'd like. Set it down. Thread the needle. Twist as you exhale. Scoop up the ball. Inhale. Crescent moon. Exhale. Same thing on the other side. Scoop up the ball. Inhale. Exhale. Standing on one leg is another variation of the rooster standing on a log. Inhale. Exhale. Touch once, touch twice. Inhale. Exhale. Ride the tiger, another variation of it. Switch to the other side. Inhale. Exhale, it's in front of the navel, in front of the head, the face. Inhale. Splash, strum the guitar. Turn, splash, strum the guitar. Bagua stance, toes line up. Keep the hips where they're at. Wind up your torso like a big spring. Again, inhale, twist. Splash once, inhale, exhale. Splash twice, deeper, slower. Splash three times, deepest, longest. Push the ball into the water, lock your knees and elbows, relax the joints. All right.